You might be able to enlighten them. Sure. They're wondering how you can make the claims that you make regarding the Universal Postal Union. Sure. And if they were going to research that, where they would look to find the information that you have that the Universal Postal Union controls the planet. Oh. Universal Postal Union was established in 1873 by using a two-cent postage stamp. All 250 countries treated with the United with the Universal Postal Union were in Switzerland to uh, to transport vessels between point excuse me transport letters between point A and point B. But when they wrote the treaty up, it was to transport vessels. Everybody in this room is a vessel. All cargo is a vessel. Everything that moved then under a two-cent postage stamp fell under this jurisdiction. Now, think about 1873. How efficient were we at moving things around? Well, we had a steam was just first coming in, so transportation was highly limited. The amount of commerce that was going to flow between one country and the other was very limited. And all they had to do was wait for one year until everybody in the planet signed up. As soon as everybody was under contract, jack up the rates. Now that they gave them jurisdiction, they were in charge of vessels. All, all vessels have to move under commerce, and all commerce is called script, better known as money. In order to get the money, paper money, you have to file bankruptcy, give up your gold, your silver, and take paper. Paper was more convenient to move back and forth. Or have contracts, better known as checks, money orders which are all controlled by the post office. So this is how they got their fingers into every pie on the planet and became the central bank through the post office controls all banking. Benjamin Franklin of the United States, when the Continental Congress got together, Ben was a French attorney working for the English crown to capture America. 1775, he sits back and says, hey, I'll be responsible for contracts and script. He writes the contracts in adverb verb, and he takes control of the money walks the United States into a bankruptcy and turns it over back to England. Yeah, we win the war, but we lose it on paper.